A ballooning fertilizer subsidy bill may pose fresh fiscal challenges for the government. The union government is staring at a bill close to 2.5 lakh for rupees. This fiscal that's almost three times higher than FY19. Sapnadas gets us the math on the fertilizer subsidy and what this will mean for the fisc. Sapna. The fertilizer subsidy is a crucial part of the government's expenses every year and the trend over the last few years has been a bit worrying for a government that is keen on sticking to a fiscal glide path. During the last three financial years alone, fertilizer subsidy has been clocking a new high every year. From a modest 73,000 crores in 2019, the number has nearly jumped 55% to in two years to 1.33 lakh crores in 2021 and then to a record 1.62 lakh crores last fiscal. For FI23, this number is expected to come in anywhere between 2.25 to 2.5 lakh crores. This is based on the fact that the Department of Fertilizers has asked the Finance Ministry for an additional 1.48 lakh crores, which means that the budget will nearly double from its original size. Of this enhanced budget, 1.4 lakh crore is broadly earmarked for urea, that's 125% higher than the budget estimate. Nutrient-based subsidy is expected 112 crores, which is 166% higher than the original budget outlay. A 2.5 lakh crore fertilizer subsidy bill is huge for an economy of India's size. Even at an expanded normal GDP of 237 lakh crores, this works out to 1% of the GDP. It's also a little higher than the food subsidy budget of 2 lakh crores for FI23 if the additional financial burden brought on by the government's free food and grains program, the PMGKY, is not counted. But the government is hopeful that the shock of a higher subsidy bill will not spill over into the next year. According to government officials, as the ripple effects of global lockdowns and the Russia-Ukraine conflict fade away, next year's fertilizer subsidy bill is likely to be lower, helped also by lower input costs and softening gas prices. In the meanwhile, the government is caught between a rock and a hard place because it remains committed to protecting farmers and fertilizer subsidies are a crucial part of that. On the other hand, it also wants to maintain its fiscal glide path. The only silver lining is that when it comes to fiscal deficit, the government can deviate from its target if extraneous circumstances beyond its control continue to play out. All right, Sapna, I appreciate you joining us. So that is going to be a challenge for the government.